Feisty Mofos, John GTFO here, bringing you another episode of Grab Your Tents Lads, we're going new camping. Today we are taking on Dortmund, this was your subscriber choice. There were a lot of votes and I really thank you all for those, but Dortmund was the overall winner in this situation. So, what team are we going to be playing today? Well, we have Victor Valdez in goal, Puyol, PK, Danny Alves and Abidal, Mascarano, Xavi, Fabregas, Villa, Sanchez and Messi. I know I said I was going to play Villa up front, but honestly, I tried it out in the previous game against Malaga, and Messi is so much better up front, and Villa is so much better on the wing, so... Go figure. So, who are we going to have on the bench? We're going to have you... 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 And you. Okay, seven subs, beautiful. So... Uh, yep, yeah, this is the tactic I'm using, you know. You have in an anchor man as well. I'm gonna actually gonna have to quickly just do player instructions on him. Just uh, this is another little tactic I'd use. You can obviously it's reasonably hard. Cause you, I put roaming on, on pretty high, and I want it off on them. No, uh, roam from position. No, uh, creative a little mental mentality. Defend, defensive. Sorry, I feel like this is genuinely the most important part of the Barcelona team is the anchor man, which is Mascarano and Busquets around about now. And I, corners go forward. Oh, he's there, whatever. Genuinely, I do think that it is the most important thing is to have this this def min ah, bah, 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 this defensive midfielder. Because honestly, if you look at Barcelona's play, they are so good going forward, but you always feel there is something a little bit weak coming backwards. I'm just going to submit the team here. This is my Barca Mofo tactic I created just now. So yeah, you always feel Barca are a bit weak defending, especially with Goetze and fucking Kagor on the Dortmund team. Where's, where's Goetze? Hmm, that's interesting. Oh, they got Isaac Vorks. Huh? They bought him from uh, Hoffenheim. He's a good player. He's six foot six and he's got 18 pace. That always amazes me. Right, Barcelona will have enough to see off the threat of Dortmund today. Well, I'm expecting to be pretty much favourite from almost every game that we play. And obviously, we have, well, before I got here, Barcelona have already played three games in Europe. And they haven't actually lost yet. They've won three. Well, they've won. Have, have they lost? No, they've won two and they've drawn one. So, hopefully, we can keep this run going. It's going to be a hard match. I'm going to say <laughs> Dortmund's a very good team. Obviously, if you watch uh, Rick from Total Team Talks play through with Dortmund, you can see they're obviously quite a good team. I mean, he's brought in a lot more better players than this, but. Overall, oh yeah, well, good shout out to Rick there for getting 700 subs. Good on you, mate. Right. Who are we going to do this? I'm going to be... No, they don't react well to um, passion. I don't know why. Uh, I'm going to do that one. Oh, no. Fair play. They don't react well. Yes, they do. That's the big players. Well, that's the three midfield pairing. That's good. And the keeper. Good news. Also, we I love the Barcelona score because like, you can just mix them around a little bit. And obviously, the defence is still an area I want to strengthen more. I mean, Christopher Samba's okay, but... Oh, this tactic's working well already. Okay, no. Oh, yeah, sorry. We're playing on the uh, really weird 2D classic. Wombles walking around. God knows we all like our Wombles. I still have a cold. I've had this cold... <coughs> Couldn't breathe there for a second. I've had this cold for God knows how long now. And honestly, it's a bit weird. Messi, 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 Messi! 1-0! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Messi is definitely playing up front now. What the freaking hell? Look at this! <laughs> okay, see you later, Vorsa. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful goal. Jesus Christ, Messi is good. Wow. <laughs> 1 0 up against Dortmund. Okay. So, another highlight here. It's a corner. Oh, it's 2 0. <laughs> oh, my God. 2 0 up in 12 minutes. Wilhelm scores an own goal for Dortmund. Oh, that's my new. Genuinely, guys, this tactic I think is perfect for Barcelona's play. 
I don't want to like brag about it much, but this is genuinely perfect. Oh no, that was def. Oh no, that wasn't. That was that was definitely PK's goal. I'm keeping that as PK's goal. But this tactic, I think, perfectly works with Barcelona's game. It is so that the roaming's there, and you've got all the strengths of every player in the certain positions. So obviously, you've got Xavi playing that deep line playmaker, which he does for Barcelona. And then I've got oh Puyol, what a beast. Oh no, he's off. Damn it, he was not offside. Damn you, sir. But I've got all the players I think playing to their abilities. I've got Cesc Fabregas and Iniesta, the ones that are switching in and out. And I may switch Fabregas and Xabi out because obviously Fabregas played that deep line playmaking role for Arsenal when he was there. But I feel like. Let's, let's actually see if this is offside. Oh, that's, that's marginal. That sh I think it should be 3 now. I think it should be 3 now. That's marginal, but never mind, we'll carry on. Fabregas looks in pain. Well, he can bloody well play on. He's not getting taken off yet. Oh, come on, Dabby, calm down, mate. Yeah, you know, Xavi Iniesta playing as the advanced playmaker. And I've got Sanchez as a winger, Messi as a trequartista. So he plays pretty much, you know, he plays striker. And he's him and uh, David Villa have got swap, uh, switch positions every now and again. Because obviously they can play. David, plays, David Villa is playing as an inside forward out in the left side, so that's pretty much Messi, Messi is a Trequatista slash, inside it, oh, inside forward, that sort of player, so him and David Villa can switch in and out every now and again, and it's a pretty much a perfect combo, they play so well with each other, I mean, in the last game against Malaga, I'm not going to ruin the score for you, but we did do pretty well, that means we won, but you could see them two working together, and I have to bring Messi off every now and again, because I just want to save him, because we'd have the athletic game next, so I don't really have to save him that badly, but I'll just take a note of who we've got on the bench. We've got Neil Mar, we're alright. So, we're doing pretty well. So, I'm again, I'm going to go calm. Um, think, please, how things are going. Keep it up, yeah. Calm, that seemed to work. Obviously, the strategy is control, because Barcelona, that's, they play controlling football. That's all they play, and it works so well. You, you Literally, you'll see Barcelona just hold the ball for about 10 minutes and not do anything Sanchez not do anything with it and they can do it because Barcelona are that good but for some reason Rafa Benitez made them go down to 10th oh so Sebastian Cowell has got injured there uh, I, don't, I don't like injuries unless we're playing sort of Man City or Millwall if it's Millwall they can kick the shit out of them I don't really care but if we're playing like a team like Dortmund I don't like injuring players I see no need for a long shot there mate I don't really like I don't like injury players because I've been there myself. I know it's only a computer game, but you still feel kind of bad when you've got injury towards players. And Dortmund actually haven't had a shot yet. What the hell is this? This is unbelievable football. There's just space for everyone. Look at that. Beautiful from Vera and Messi again. Messi was in the middle. Slack. Dirty slack. But this is just... um. It's an obliteration at the moment. It's an absolute obliteration. Ah, V has got injured. Hmm, it's only 84. Keep him on. Actually, I might. I know what I'll do. Oh, it's required. Even though he's 84%. Righty ho. I'll play Pedro then as a winger. Because Pedro's more of a winger. And I'll bring on Nilmar. Four. Play you as an advanced forward. Because Neil Moore is not the same player as Messi and never will be of any calibre anywhere near Messi. So, fitness is looking good. Very, very good, in fact. I don't know, I don't really need to use the next summer yet, I don't think so. Uh, yeah, I just didn't keep that. I'm not really sure on Pedro, I'm thinking of selling him and bringing Munyane. Because Munyane's such a better player than him. And, um,. <coughs> Guys, did look at your goalkeeping suggestions, and thank you for all of them. I did get quite a few of the same names over and over again, and Courtius, I think his name is, who plays for Chelsea. That's the guy I'm looking to be buying. Oh, 3-0. Th <laughs> corner glitch. Sorry. Yeah, he's the guy I'm looking to be buying. Is Courtius? Okay. Courtius? Yeah, I think that's his name. He's who I'm going to be looking to buy. I've got a scout report, and he says he's going to be a three-star keeper. And <laughs> with my scouts, that's a fucking amazing player, because Messi's only rated four and a half stars. V is four stars. Do um... Thingy Alves, what's his name? <sighs> Alvet, no. Valdez, there you go. Valdez, the keeper's only rated three and a half stars. So, you know, we've <laughs> when you when you look at my scouts, you just got to realise that they're extremely harsh. 
And I have no idea why. I mean, Barcelona's a good team, but the only people they've got, I think it's four and a half stars who don't play for Barcelona at the moment. Cristiano Ronaldo, Hazard, and... Okay, I've just got a BRB, because someone just knocked on my door. So, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, we're back, guys. Sorry about that, just someone come to pick up a parcel for my mum. Right. Let's resume the game. And this has been an absolutely de <laughs> this has been a demolition. Uh, Matt Hummels, he's a good player. I have looked at him as well, to be fair, I have to say. I mean, I'm looking at the fence, and I'm thinking Christopher Samba's quite old, but I'm, I'll not be able to sell him for the amount of money Barcelona have freaking bought him for. Abidal, replacement's going to be Ali Sissoko if I can make a deal with... Oh, what a ball. Oh, Jesus Christ, Neymar. If I can make a deal with Leon for him, because obviously he's not going to chip, he's not going to come cheap. I'm going to be honest, he's not going to come cheap. So I am looking... I don't know, I have got a lot of money to spend, but I just, I don't want to spend all of it, because I want the club to have something in backup if I ever do need to. I'm looking to invest in the youth, because this is going to be quite, quite a long save for me. So, yeah, game over. 3-0 victory over Dortmund. Great performance from the lads. Really, really impressed. And just like to say thanks for watching guys if you did enjoy the video please give it a like rating I mean give it a like for the absolute demolition of Rick Stortman <coughs> Rick Stortman team so again thanks for watching guys did like it stick a like on there and question of the day okay okay this is it Jessica Alba in her prime not obviously after she, after she's had kids or and this is a big or it's going to be a sound like a weird one Britney Spears when she was a teenager and she'd first come out when she was actually hot. Not like she is now, which is, God knows, druggy, bald bitch. But when she was younger, and she was actually fit. Okay? So, weird question. So, Jessica Alba, Britney Spears. You decide. Stick it in the comment section below. And, uh, see you later, guys.